Taurus. Hello, Taurus. I want to welcome you to your monthly reading for the month of June. However, my readings are timeless, so whenever you are drawn to the title, there could be a message here for you. And cross watchers, you are always welcome as well. Okay, so I was meditating before your reading, and I was doing some scrying, and I saw a figure. It kind of reminded me of the fool. However, they were carrying a pickaxe, and they were about to start digging in in the rocky terrain and they had with them their little dog companion. So I thought that was interesting. So I feel like this could be a time that you are being guided in a certain direction or path. So let's see where this goes, Taurus. I'm gonna pull a couple of overall Oracle messages. Then we're going to dive into the tarot and get past present energies as well as advice from spirit and probable outcome. I'm going to close it off with a couple more oracles. Okay, what do we have for Taurus, Sultine? Affirmation for growth. Isn't that a beautiful card? I love the emerald green in this card. All right. I'm going to read the little divination out of the booklet here. Okay, Taurus. The divination says, This card is telling you it is time to stop standing still. Is there a project you've been working on? You might want to give it more energy and attention. Or take a look at your life and see if it's moving forward in the ways that you would like it to. If not, what can you do to change that? Are your relationships growing and blooming? How can you nurture them so they do? This card reminds you that all growth must be nurtured and encouraged. All right, so I'm going to pull an overall color message for you. Now, these are colors that... You can incorporate into your wardrobe, what you wear as far as jewelry, clothes, or you can incorporate into the things that you eat or drink or just take the message. All right, what do we have, Sultine? Truly am grateful for your assistance today. And I am grateful for each subscriber, everyone that has subscribed and donated to my channel. It means so much to me, and I do send out blessings to each and every one of you. Okay, you got two of them. You got gold, which is attract abundance. Ooh, I love that color. Experience peace and calm. Okay, Taurus, now let's go ahead and dive into the tarot and get a look at the past energies that we are dealing with in this situation. A little history. History of the mystery. All right, what do we have? Past energies, this one. The Nine of Wands. Looks like you've come through some difficulties. Could have been some conflict. Just could have been a lot of hard work. All right, too early to tell. Let's get a couple of more, and then we'll clarify. Let's get one more for our Taurus past energies, please. Okay. And you got the Two of Cubs. Okay, so this could have to do with a relationship of some sort. Could be friendship, could be love. All right, so let's dive in and clarify. I like to clarify as we go, just to keep things in a linear way. I'm going to go ahead and move it closer. These cards are a little bit small, so I want you to be able to see them as we go. All right, let's clarify this, please, Sultine, the Nine of Wands. 
I feel like the difficulties in the past have made you more confident. Left you with some scars though, Taurus. Okay, the moon. Interesting. Um, two of cups. Could have been some hidden shadow work that you've been working through in the past. Could have been some deceit. All right, let's look at this two of cups. All right, and the lovers come out on the Two of Cups. Okay, yeah, so I really do feel like this is pertaining to a love relationship. Um, you're going to know exactly what that situation is for you, Taurus. All right, so let's get a look at the current energies that you're currently dealing with. Okay, and you've got the world, so this is coming full circle or ending a cycle. This also could be travel, so let's keep going, go a little bit deeper. I almost feel like she's walking through the porthole, so I feel like you are... Closing off some old cycles. Okay, and the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, the Knight is taking action. It's slow action, but it is action. Okay, so it does look like maybe you're making... And um, on the pre-shuffle on some of these spirit cards, I kept getting uh, gentle nudges. So perhaps uh, spirit is guiding you to using gentle nudges towards a certain path here. I feel like you have begun to take action. It's just slow action. All right, let's look at this deeper. The world. Ah, the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Okay. Three of Swords I get as past heartache or perhaps you're just trying to work your way past this heartache I, I feel like also to the six of pentacles is about compassion showing a bit of compassion and humility and also balancing out your needs versus others so I, feel, I do feel like maybe you've show, been showing yourself a bit more um, self-love, self-care, Knight of Pentacles. But I do feel like you're also showing this compassion in your relationships. That could be family, friends. All right, why is Sonata? Oh, there we go, the Queen of Swords. You're moving towards your truth. And what you desire and want. She's desiring that cake. She's going to eat the parts of it that she wants. And leave the rest. So I feel like you're doing that. You're weeding out these things that just don't serve you. You're staying true and authentic to yourself, Taurus. I like that. You're staying on your path. Taurus, um... It's a very grounded energy, very on task. Uh, get this with this knot of pentacles. Okay, let's get the advice from Spirit for Taurus's best outcome, please. Some of you may be traveling currently or in the near future to get some much needed rest or healing. With the Six of Pentacles, that could also be doing charity work as well. Or you could just be needing a vacation. <laughs> to 
balance out work and your social life a bit. Okay, now let's focus on the advice. All right. Taurus, your advice is the Four of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Okay. The Four of Cups to me is not always seeing the opportunities or you're not quite... You're not really... You're not... The opportunities that are offered to you are not really sparking your interest. Um, so I do see this as maybe a little bit of boredom, but I also feel like you're not seeing something here. Okay. Um, so I feel like Spirit could be saying, uh, pay attention to the subtle opportunities that come your way. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Four of Cups. A little bit of stuck energy I'm seeing with this. The will. You're waiting for this to turn and... Okay, so you're wanting to see the benefits of the work that you have put in. Okay. So you're waiting for this will to begin to turn in your favor. I do feel like you are trying to stay grounded. I do get that you are grounded. However, you may be seeing it like you're stuck or stagnant. Okay, um, let's look at this Knight of Swords and see what, what the advice is here. I see this as wanting to take action, determination, something is... Okay, so the Five of Swords... I just feel like um, Spirit is saying to that it is time to move forward. Uh, I often see the Five of Swords as salvaging what you can and moving forward to the next battle, to the next town, um, to the next project. So um, I feel like you can't win them all. You are going to run into conflict now and then, but you're going to need to salvage what you can and move forward. That's what I'm getting from this. Just forward movement. All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, I feel like it's saying don't continue to look back. That needs to be cut out. Uh cord cutting, released, forgiven, that kind of thing. Um, you need to focus your attention more towards the future, which could have you a bit confused. Maybe you know exactly what you want, and you're just not seeing that movement. But then again, for some of you out there, I'm getting that you may not know. You just, it's not clear quite yet. And I think that's okay. As long as you're making this forward movement forward in gentle uh, nudges, I think you're going to be okay. Let's look at the probable outcome. Hope this is making sense for you, Taurus. I know you want to see that growth of the hard work that you've put in. Okay, you've got the Seven of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune again. So I do feel like um, the Seven of Wands is really a lot about overcoming any conflict, standing your ground, standing firm of what you believe in. 
it it leads us to become a more confident person. So I do feel like you're standing up for what it is, okay? And you're coming out more confident. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Taurus, please, Soul Team? Okay, you've got the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, you're working towards what it is that you truly desire. And um, I see you putting a lot of dedication into that. Okay, let's look at the will because I really want to see what happens with this will. Let's look deeper. Clarify this, please, Soul Team. Well, the Seven of Cups. I feel like this is more about um, dreams and creativity. Seeing past any confusion. All right, that's what I'm getting for you there, Taurus. Now let's go ahead and dive into the spirit messages. And then we'll wrap it up with a message from the lot for you, Taurus. What do we have, Sultane? Seek. Okay. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. Interesting. All right, let me get one more. So let me get the spirit message, and I'll read the short little passage out of the booklet for you, Taurus. All right, Soul Team, what do we have for Taurus? Wrap this reading up. I sure hope this reading is helpful for you, Taurus. If it just doesn't resonate with you, please feel free to check out my channel page and find... Um, Find a title that may resonate better with you as I do read for all 12 zodiac signs. So if you know your other placements, I encourage you to check out those readings. All right. All right. And you've got opportunity. Okay. That makes sense. Let's go ahead and read that passage. A porthole opens in the world of chaos. I said the world I thought looked reminded me of a portal. So it draws you in. Don't let your fear close off this moment. Embrace the shifting current. Interesting. Okay, Taurus. Again, many blessings. I hope this reading helped you. Please come back next weekend for your weekly reading. Okay, bye-bye, Taurus.